everybody, welcome to Scuba Dive Magazine. Uh, our website is down here, you can visit us after the video. And of course, whilst you're here, remember to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, but if you do have a scuba diving question or a topic that you would like to discuss, then type it down in the comment section underneath this video and use that Ask Mark hashtag to get it featured in an up and coming video. Uh, I do my best to answer any question that's asked and a lot of the, uh, the community answers qu your questions as well in the comment section, which is quite nice. Uh, so if you do see any questions down there and you do know the answer, uh, then by all means answer it. Um, but the ones with a uh, the Ask Mark hashtag do get a bit of preferential treatment. Uh, but today, a question from GMAC about the colours of wetsuits. So GMAC says, very uh, informative video on fin variables. Thank you, you're welcome. Um, can you discuss the variables and benefits of colors in dry, semi-dry and full wetsuits, uh, especially the visibility of bright colors versus all black, 50-50 uh, and camouflage suits? Are there any safety issues based on bright colors or all black when diving uh, with aggressive fish, say barracudas or sharks, welcome your opinion and costs associated with variable suits. Um, so the main difference between wetsuit colors for scuba divers uh, underwater is kind of what color it changes to uh, under 10 meters because red disappears. So a lot of um, like women in particular, they buy pink wetsuits and then below 10 meters, it's just a kind of brown color. Um, there is uh, focusing more on like animals like sharks and whatnot there is some anecdotal testing that yellow uh, and like whites the high contrasting colors can like catch predators eyes but it's incredibly rare that wetsuit color is like the causing factor of like shark attacks on scuba diver one thing that you're usually recommended is to avoid shiny glinting things so a lot of jewelry and whatnot try and avoid it um and yeah they find that sometimes it looks like fish scales so sometimes it'll just like catch their eye and they they try it um but as far as safety not really um as far as like visibility on the surface yeah your your reds your oranges and your yellows are a bit easier to uh, to spot depending on the conditions that's why a lot of like dsmbs are red orange kind of colors they contrast quite well against most water um, like colors around the world in most conditions um black black does surprisingly well in some circumstances uh you'll see a lot of um I say a lot of a uh, some boys, some marker boys are um, are black in color, and in some water conditions, black does stand out surprisingly well. So much so that some DSMBs are made in black color, which does seem to not make sense, but actually it does contrast quite well in some water and light conditions. But as far as wetsuits go not really it's more of a personal choice um we are starting to see a few more brighter colors come out which is quite nice it tended to be more just it's black mainly because it's a safe color to um to, to sell and or at least stock and sell black tends to go with most things um but as far as like a, a safety thing yeah in in the water it's quite useful to be able to pick out different divers but below yeah 20 meters or something unless you've got a torch and you're shining on it all kind of looks dark and brown to uh, to most colors um your, your your brighter yellows and whites tend to be the easier to uh, to pick out and um it's kind of one of the reasons why a lot of our scuba cylinders are painted um, yellow and white, just so they stand out quite nicely. Um, the color doesn't, al it's not always to do with that. Sometimes it's to do with the, uh, the contents, but actually it's quite nice, bright, high contrast to it to see in the water. But as far as wetsuits, yeah, uh, it's never been a contributing factor to uh, to like my consideration when I'm investing in a uh, in, in a wetsuit or something whether the color is going to attract sharks or whatnot some divers call yellow yum yum yellow uh, and they avoid yellow fins because they believe that um, sharks are attracted to it uh, to yellow fins I think there's 
some anecdotal data that it's a little bit more attractive to them because it's a bit more high contrast so they can really focus on it a bit easier and it stands out a bit better but we're really not on sharks or barracudas um, uh, menu the main thing that you're worried about is usually like a titan triggerfish um, but it wouldn't put me off buying yellow fins or orange fins or whatever um, it divers really aren't on any marine life's menu um, when they hear the bubbles and they they see the bubbles and the, all this noise uh, it tends to put them off anyway uh, by the time they get close so um, no, nah, I'm, I'm not that worried about uh, about color of wetsuit. Yeah, we are starting to see more colorful wetsuits out there, which is quite nice. Um, you'll see on a lot of dry suits, if they have like reflective tape on them, the reflective tape tends to be on like the arm. So when you're waving, it's uh, it's quite high up out of the water. And uh, but as far as actual color goes, I think it's more like personal preference it can help a little bit if you can spot like red out of a sea of blue it does contrast a bit um, but normally when you look out if you can see the red of their wetsuit then you can see their entire wetsuit um, it might help a little bit but no, I, I think you're more going to be relying on your, your DSMB or something to be spotted on the surface. And as far as marine encounters, I don't think there's any strong information that specifically says if you're wearing this colour, then a shark or a barracuda or something will go after you. Um, there's a lot of other factors that usually lead up to, um, uh, to a shark attack or something. And the colour of the wetsuit that you're wearing is pretty low on that list I'd wager. Now when I look at wetsuits and consider different colours or styling or dry suits or whatever uh, it is more about personal preference and the um, uh, my, my personal like colourway that I'm aiming for more than uh, you know what would a, a shark attack me in this colour doesn't really come into my uh, like calculations. But being visible on the surface to other divers is quite important. Um, it is something worth uh, considering at least um, and yeah it is nice that we're seeing more and more colors coming out um, any other questions pop them down in the comment section underneath this video use that ask mark hashtag it will get your uh, yourself and your question featured in an up and coming video uh, otherwise remember to head over to our website scuba diver mag.com check out our magazine all the awesome things that we do over there reporting the latest news checking out the latest scuba diving equipment uh, yeah and don't forget to like share subscribe do all that good social media stuff Thank you for watching everybody and of course, safe diving.